Hey guys, welcome back to another one from Holy Shift, Sandy, Sandy over here. I got my personal assistant today over here, Pico. Pico, say hello to everybody. He's gonna be helping me. Uh, I got, finally got the Freedom Shield windscreen uh, for my 2020 Electra Glide standard. As you know, this is about the third or fourth video of me putting, uh, installing a windscreen on and off, all kinds of different windscreens. This one is a Freedom Shield. Uh, the previous one was a bit too tall. Check out the video if you don't remember. So I went uh, with uh, a size down, actually two inches down because uh, I figured out that uh, over the phone with uh, customer support over there, which were very helpful, that seven inch wide Freedom Shield will be the best solution for me. So I'm not going to go through the whole install. If you, it's only three bolts. Check out my other videos, how I did it. Going to slap it on, put it on, take it for a ride show you uh what it looks like with the camera front facing you can see what it's like i'll listen to it at speeds uh, uh slow speeds highway speeds listen to the music see if there's a you know reduction in the buffeting and the wind buffeting and at the end i'll give you my observation conclusions and uh decisions with whether i'm happy with it or not <laughs> I'd appreciate it if you go ahead and uh, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and not subscribed to the channel, want to watch more of these videos, go ahead and click that subscribe if you're not subscribed to, uh, if you're not subscribed already. So let's get into it. So as you can see, this is eight. This is a seven, but the angles are a bit different. And this one has, has the flare. So that, according to what the Freedom Shields are saying, this gives it about a two, two inch throw. So it's uh, theoretically like a nine, like a nine inch uh, standard wind, windshield. Okay, right out of the box i can see it's uh it's a good fit i uh, put it on tighten it and now i'm going to take off uh the protective uh film and try it out i can see it's going to be right size for me i'll uh take the film off and sit on the bike and tell you and show you right now for now you can see that the curving the curve and the curve and the fit over here is really tight and smooth here, nice and closed, nice, nice finish. And here too. Now, uh, let's sit on the bike and see what it looks like. See, the biggest problem in the past for me was uh, the, uh, it was too tall. Uh, and I was looking through the wind uh, windshield, which is, which defies the purpose. You wanna see just slightly above it, like one inch above it. I'm putting the camera exactly where my eyes are. It's got good, good clearance, good, uh, good height. Let's put it that way. So let's uh, take it out for a ride and uh, take some footage and see what it's like. Let's listen to the sound if we can hear if it's blocking the wind because I see a standard Harley uh, windshield, windscreen ends over here, right here. So you're getting this whole additional wide, wider protection area when where the wind deflects out and keeps this whole area this whole area as one big vacuum one big uh, bubble where the music and sound comes out so they're saying it's a uh, better uh, sound coming out when you have this windshield on so let's give it a try okay i just took the protective film off and it's really really sharp and clear i want to show you the fine details how nice nice and clear it is i took it in uh medium gray so i can uh if i do need to look through i can still look through it i didn't want to clear i wanted to, to blacken out uh the appearance the front look of uh, you know the front of the bike so let me show you the front now see that 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 flare that curve that wind tunnel uh, tested throws the uh, the air 
the wind further higher up over the helmet. It's the first time you're seeing uh, see me installing this windshield and this whole install went too fast for you I have like two other videos linked right over here where I do the full uh, install slow install explaining and I also have a comparison a review uh, comparison between that and the clockworks which I already tried to install and watch that video for the full review now let's go out for the ride take it around town and take it to the highway Go highly speed, see if this uh, Freedom Shield is the right choice. I need to fill up gas really low over there. Let it warm up already a little bit. Just from initial uh, sitting over here, I can see, I can see uh, really clear. By the way, the camera is located by my chin so that's like three two three maybe four inches below my eye uh, the the lines of sight so take that into consideration okay definitely my my line of sight is is great it's clear no problem here whatsoever this is definitely the right uh, height for me seven inch and I'm with the visor open and I'm going what was I going a 30 wind is not hitting my uh, my face like my eyes I'm not I don't need to blink there's no wind in my eyes and I'm going now 45 I'll fill her up first and then I'll take her to the highway at slow speeds I'm with the visor open this whole time I'm going uh, 40 35 40 and there's no wind in my face sounds great <laughs> okay so let's fill her up first Okay guys, let's see if you can guess how many gallons will go in. See if you can guess at this point. Stop the video, write your comment at the bottom how many gallons will go in, and then watch it to the end, to the end see if you were close. I was almost down to the end. Remember, obviously, I can't fill it up till the tippy top. Okay, you ready, guys? Did you write your comments down? How many gallons went in? That's the number. 4907. Nine, Who was the closest? Thank you. Hey, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I always tip them. Why not? They have a card. Let's turn. I'm closing the visor. It's a bit chilly. It's 32 degrees today. I like that deep rumble pro pipe. Well, first of all, in terms of the height that I chose for this windshield, perfect. I'm really happy. Oh, 
actually looking through through the windshield I can actually see it's not really distorted so and I can see through with the gray uh, tint with the mid what is it mid red gray uh, I can actually see through and buffeting is good but let's let's check it at, on the highway let's try the radio now at uh, at 50 ah truth is difficult to tell difficult to say okay this whole time on 50 55 no wind buffeting whatsoever how about music? Okay, at the, these speeds it's okay. Can't see any difference because uh, I never actually did have any problems at these speeds. And we'll see if the buffeting has been reduced. Going 80 now. Okay, now I'm at 80, and buffeting is significantly uh, reduced. Wow, still some buffeting, but way, way less. Oh yeah, more than 80, not gonna say. And it's nice and clear. That's perfect. Okay, let's try the music on now. To get to play amazing songs for you. That, of course, the weekend soon is here's one of my favorite songs, the Super Bowl halftime show, which is going to be amazing. It's February 7th. Okay, guys. Uh, in regards to the audio, I don't know. I, I can't really conclusively tell you. Yeah, oh, much better. Wow. What a difference. No, I can't tell that much of a difference. I believe when people say that it was tested out and sound is better because it makes sense that it's a bigger, you know, bigger uh, covered area. But I, with my old ears, my 50 year old ears and my hearing, can't really tell a difference uh, uh, that significant of a difference but in terms of the wind buffeting and this and uh, you know throwing around the bike uh, from the wind and stuff like that and the the wind buffets hitting my helmet absolutely I can definitely feel a smoother smoother ride on my head I, I can literally it, it was the buffeting was was uh, not hitting my head and impairing my vision I wasn't seeing clear it was knocking on my head and now it's way 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 uh, calmer and smoother assuming the the wind is not hitting the, the you know the top of my helmet smooth <laughs> oh great man what an improvement great should I try the music again okay let's try the music again they got keto paleo pin, vegetarian and my favorite the whole 30 I don't know I don't know I can't really tell so gonna leave it as is gonna believe what people say I can't really tell the difference maybe there is me into this so that's it guys I'm back home <clears throat> it's really cold so that's it guys I'm back from the ride well what are my thoughts 
I like the I like the windshield very much. Uh, it finally solved my wind buffeting problems that I had. I went up to high speeds as you've seen, and the ride was smooth and clear, no buffeting on my uh, on my helmet. Uh, as regards in regards to the claims of the audio, maybe true. I couldn't I couldn't observe. I couldn't really tell. Uh, maybe it's because my ears are old already, and my hearing is. But I, it makes sense that because uh, it's a wider windshield, you got a bigger bubble around you and less obstruction of the wind. So it makes sense that the sound and the audio would be uh, more recognizable. You can hear it better. But I personally couldn't feel uh, or notice the difference. Very happy with the windshield. Finally done <laughs> with the upgrade. Like the look, like the functionality, and I definitely like the price. That's it for now. Hope you enjoyed this uh, review, this uh, ride. Uh, I'm Sandy from Holy Shift. Until the next video, peace out, guys. Right.